In this video, we're gonna be going over how to use the sweep command in Onshape. So um, in Onshape, uh, using the sweep command could definitely help you create pieces like this if you have something similar to this for your uh, Lego creation. Um, so we know from this size that uh, it says it's one by four by three. Um, so we're gonna go back to our Onshape and I'm gonna start a sketch on the front face. Um, again, make sure that you are in millimeters. That'll make your life a lot easier since the Legos are in millimeters. Um, I'm going to start off um, by going to my sketch one, and I'm just going to start with a line. Um, some of these dimensions might not necessarily make sense right now, um, but what I have done is I have calculated um, the thickness of the circle that I would like to do, which is 3.6. Um, and what I'm doing right now is um, creating just one of these right here. So I did some math and I have figured out um, the size of just one of these squares. Um, so what I'm going to do is this one is 12.8 um, straight down and then 6.4 and 6.4. Um, I personally like to start in the middle here. Again, whatever works for you. There's a hundred different ways to do the correct thing. Um, so I'm going to finish this sketch up. So essentially, I just have like a big rectangle here. Um, what we're going to do, and this is where sweeping can kind of be confusing. Um, we are actually going to create a sketch on this right face right here. So we're going to do create a sketch on this right face. Um, and again, I, I like to rotate it just a little bit because I know that my shape is up towards this way. Um, when I'm sweeping my circle here, I don't want to do my circle directly in the middle right here because now um, I have this area down here that's actually going to mess up our dimensions. So let me undo that and I'm going to do a, a line. Um, the circle that I want to do is 3.6. So I'm going to take half of that, which is 1.8. And I'm going to grab my circle tool. So now that the bottom of my circle, okay, it won't be adding any distance to my um, sweep and that my dimensions will stay the same and match up when I assemble all of this. So, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be, uh, oops, did I not push enter? Let's say, okay, there we go. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep this shape around these lines right here. So we're going to grab our sweep tool. I'm going to click my face of my circle. And then now it says sweep path. And for whatever shape you choose, you could do a square, you could do a star, you could do a circle like this. I can just click around these lines and boom, connect it. Again, whatever your shape is, you don't have to connect it. We'll say that looks good. So now I've essentially created one uh, panel, I guess, of this grill. Okay. Cool thing is now, again, we've learned linear pattern tool. I can click my shape. I can say, all right, I want my direction to be going right and left. All right, let's look at this. Um, I believe the distance to have these overlap is 9.2 millimeters. And again, this is very specific to my design. So we'll say that looks good. And we need three of them. And there we go. So now I have completed this grill shape using the sweep command and also the linear pattern command.